This is the DW control beater and it is an absolute beast. This is my personal favorite go-to workhorse bass drum beater. Currently I have these on my 9,000 pedals for my PDP Classic Concept Maple. I also have them on both 9,000 pedals for my PDP X7. And as you can see, I've got a couple more sets here because I'm gonna be upgrading the pedals on my Pork Pie Kit, my D-Drum Kit, and my PDP Classic Concept Maple Bop Kit. This beater here is an absolute must upgrade for any pedal. It doesn't matter if you play DW or not, I guarantee this is gonna be a great upgrade for you. It's extremely versatile and has a lot of great features. Three that we're really gonna talk about. But before we do that, I just wanna say thank you for checking out this video. My name is Zach. If you've been to my channel before, checked out my videos, I appreciate you coming back. Thanks for the support. If this is your first time here, welcome to the drum room. Thanks for checking it out. If you like the video, hit like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification so you can see future videos. When this came out, I was absolutely in love and I hadn't even tried it out. I worked at a music store and I said, I need to have these and I called them up, called up DW and they said, guess what? They're not for sale yet. They're exclusive to the MDD pedal only and we're not selling them individually. So I got put on the waiting list. As soon as they were out on the market, I had to have them. I got the part number, it's right here, DW SM110. I had ordered up the set, they came in and I tell you what, I was not disappointed. These are just amazing. They've been out on the market for a while, but I'm really excited that I'm gonna be upgrading some more of my pedals using these beaters, so I figured I would show you some of the cool features and tell you why I absolutely love these. So, the first thing that you'll notice when we take this out of the package, the reason why I say it's so versatile, it has not one, not two, but three different bass drum beater heads. So if we look, we have a flat felt, we have a rounded felt, and we have my favorite, which is the hard plastic. Switching out these heads is super easy. It's just righty tighty, lefty loosey, and all you have to do is spin this off. It's just threaded in. And then you'll notice there's little nubs, and there's like a little insert or a recess track in there. All you have to do is thread this right back in and spin it until it clicks in place. And that's it. Super simple. This one here is gonna give you that hard rock metal sound that everybody loves. If you're used to the original DW 9000 beater or 5000, everything but the MDD basically uses this, you'll know a lot of us love this hard plastic side and, and some of us obviously love the felt side. Well, these are gonna give the option of doing either or without loosening and spinning this up. You can just easily take this off. So if you don't like that hard metal sound and you want that classic rock sound, you can just grab this nice rounded edge and stick that in there and it's gonna give you a nice soft classic kinda, kinda sound. But if you want something a little edgier than that, but you still don't want it too aggressive, then go with this nice flat, flat felt beater head. And it's just as easy as one, two, and three, done. Another really awesome feature, and it's probably my favorite feature, it's got a self-leveling head. That is awesome. I can't tell you how many times I've put on the bass drum you know, and then the pedal and, and the beater is just, it's close, but it's never perfect. And I'll tell you, on my bop kit, I'm using a duckbill foot as a bass drum extension that came with it, and it brings the pedal out. So I'm actually reaching pretty hard on that bop kit. This bass drum beater has got a lot of adjustability. Look at how much angle you can really put in there. And that's great, because once it's there, it's gonna hit every time right in the center. And that's just a great, great feature to have is this self-leveling head. Another thing that's you know everybody's favorite to talk about are the little bullets, right? 
These are counterweights. What's really nice is these comes with four of them. They are each 10 grams. So this pedal is adjustable from 64 grams with no weights in them to 104 when you have all four weights in there. And you can adjust it so there's 74, 84, 94, and now 104 grams of weight. And that is really neat. I have played with it and for you know what it is, I can tell the difference between the sides and the tops and bottoms. Maybe it's just mental, but I feel like I can tell the difference between that. But I'll also tell you that between my pedals and my playing, like my XF versus my standard, I do have different weight sets because it does feel different. Like the XF pedals are a little longer, they feel heavier. I've actually got two less weights in it than I do with my standard pedals. So it is really nice and easy to adjust these out. All you have to do is screw off the top and as you just saw me playing with it, you just literally set these in and once you've got what you want, just take your beater head, screw that back in and it's gonna lock it right in place. What's really nice is you can actually adjust these right on the fly as you're playing, or not while you're playing, but if you were playing a show and you had all four weights in there and for some reason you were just getting tired and it was too heavy, in between songs you can just take this head off, take the weights out, lighten up that pedal and keep playing. And that's just awesome, more versatile, you know, versatility towards whatever you're playing. You want some more weight in there, Add it as you're going. It's just really awesome. Then the last feature that's really nice is it comes with this super nice bag. So whatever beater head you're not gonna use, you can stick that in the bag. Or if you're not using all the weights, obviously, you can store your weights in there. Uh, another thing that comes in the bag, make sure you take a look, is a nice little Allen wrench. And if you're wondering what that's for, is in this pedal, you can actually adjust it on how tight or loose it is. So this adjustability, you could get it so that it actually never moves again. Or the way that it comes, it's still tight enough that it moves, but only when it needs to. And I like that. But it does come with an Allen head if you want to make that adjustability. But this right here, I tell you, is the best, most versatile pedal beater out there. And I absolutely love it. So if you get the chance, I think you should try this and you are not going to be disappointed. It is so adjustable, it will really change your playing, your sound, your feel, everything. And it's so easy, you can just take it all apart, put it together in seconds. It's just a great, great beater. If you have any questions, feel free, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer everything. If there's anything else, put those in the comments too. Other than that, I appreciate you coming out. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a wonderful day. Take care.